Any day you get to try some vintage MXR pedals is a good day, but today is a particularly good day because I've got a vintage MXR script phase 100 on the bench, courtesy of Verley at Past Effects. Thank you so much, Verley, for loaning me this pedal. Send Verley some love in the comments section below. But this particular pedal I'm quite fond of because maybe the third or fourth pedal I ever owned in my life was an MXR Phase 100. It was a Christmas gift from a family friend one year, and I still distinctly remember opening the box, seeing the giant orange housing. It must have been one of the reissues because it had the block logo on it, and then having absolutely no idea how to use it because while you have a speed control like on a Phase 90, you've also got this four-way rotary waveform control on there, which is going to fundamentally change the sound of the pedal quite a bit. What I didn't understand at the time was that the Phase 100 isn't simply just a Phase 90 with an extra knob. The Phase 90 is a four-stage phaser. The Phase 100 is a 10-stage phaser. It has a very different inherent character, almost kind of sounds a little bit like a flanger or a univibe at times. And I should get back to my story, right? That phase 100 that I had, I loaned to a friend who said, hey, you know what? I'm pretty handy with electronics. I can do a few little mods to this and make it sound more like the script version. And I said, awesome. And, you know, we were chatting way outside his car. I'm fairly certain we put the pedal on top of his car and then forgot about it. We got distracted talking about Dragon Ball Z or The Simpsons or something like that. And then he drove off. I got a message maybe 15 minutes later saying, hey, did I forget to grab the pedal? And I was like, no, I definitely gave it to you. And we kind of figured out that the pedal had been left on top of the car. And you know, those MXR pedals have that kind of like sticky little bottom on there. Probably held on for a little bit, but then was just dropped somewhere on the side of the road. So I don't know, maybe someone had a really good day the next day and they found a phase 100 on the side of the road. But I've never seen that pedal again, and I have missed it. In fact, I've never played a Phase 100 since then. Maybe it scarred me emotionally, but I'm super stoked to try out this vintage script Phase 100 on here. Let's make some noise. <laughs>
setting is this waveform over here on the right. With it cranked up, it almost has a flanger-like quality. I'm guessing there's quite a lot of feedback in the circuit there. And you can kind of hear at the higher settings, it has this sort of almost talk box style, ya 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 style sound about it. The other modes are really subtle in comparison, even this one, which has, you know, <laughs> the two big ones on there. But yeah, that mode all the way over here, to me, uh, kind of sounds the most character filled, almost like a flanger, almost like a uni vibe. It's got its own thing going on. It makes me miss my old phase 100 so much. I'd love to know where that pedal is, just somewhere out there on the side of a road, like the episode of The Simpsons with Mr. Burns' teddy bear, you know? You see that time lapse of what happens to it in the future? Maybe in the future, I don't know, I'll be kind of running around with a Smithers-style dog and my head will be preserved in a little tube and I'll find my Phase 100. Uh, but that little fantasy aside, I'm just gonna say thank you so much for watching. Big shout out to Verly for loaning me this pedal. I'll play you out with some more dirty Phase 100 tones. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll see you all on the next one. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.